If your electric dryer is overheating, here are the five most probable causes. The heating element warms the air before it enters the dryer drum. If the element is partially shorted out, it may produce heat continuously, even after the appliance has reached the proper drying temperature. You can use a multimeter to help determine if the element has shorted by touching one probe to an element terminal and the other probe to the element casing. If the multimeter display indicates there is electrical continuity between either of the terminals and the casing, then the element has shorted and will need to be replaced. If the dryer's venting is clogged with lint or other debris, the airflow within the dryer drum will be restricted, which can cause the dryer to overheat. You should clean out the venting, as well as the lint filter housing, at least once a year to ensure good airflow. The blower wheel works with the motor to draw air into the dryer drum. If the wheel is obstructed by lint or a small article of clothing, the airflow could become restricted, causing the dryer to overheat. Check to see if anything is obstructing the blower wheel. If the component appears damaged or stripped, you will need to replace it with a new one. The cycling thermostat cycles the heat on and off to maintain the proper air temperature. If the thermostat is defective, it may allow the heat to stay on too long. You can use a multimeter to test the thermostat for electrical continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the part to help determine if the part requires replacement. While the thermostat should display continuity at room temperature, it should switch off or display no continuity when heated. Most dryers will have a felt seal attached to the front and rear rims of the drum to prevent heat from escaping the drum. If a seal is worn out or missing, the heated air will not be drawn through the drum properly and may cause the cabinet to overheat, although this is rarely the case. Before replacing a felt seal, first confirm the more commonly defective parts are working properly. All of the parts shown in this video are available on our website. Be sure to enter the full model number of your appliance in our website search bar to find the specific replacement part that will fix your dryer.